let's go to that developing story which has come in to us from New York and that is reports that there has been an earthquake which struck New Jersey uh, and the impacts have been reported in New York City. You can see the New York skyline there. Well, we can go straight to our correspondent in New York, John Sudworth, to get the very latest. So, John, just tell us more about uh, what you know and uh, did you feel it yourself? I did, Regini. Uh, you know, reports coming in from across the city of people having experienced uh, the shock of this quake, uh, reports of buildings uh, shaking. That's certainly uh, what I felt here in Manhattan. Uh, it lasted for, uh, you know, uh, some 15 or 20 seconds or so in terms of, um, you know, the highest intensity shaking. Um, you know, I have to say, uh, these things are rare, uh, but not um, completely unknown in the city of New York. At the moment, the uh, United States Geological Survey, in its early reports, are suggesting that the epicenter of this quake uh, was some 50 miles west of Manhattan, over in the state of New Jersey, uh, a magnitude quake of uh, some 4.8 um, in terms of its measured scale. Um, and I think reports from, from that side of the Hudson River over in the state of New Jersey suggest, as you'd expect, that residents there felt it even more intensely. But, you know, these things uh, do happen from time to time. There was one uh, as recently as uh, January of this year, just a couple of months ago, uh, again, felt by residents of, of Manhattan in the early hours of the morning. And on that occasion, although people could very much feel the shock, uh, very few reports of, of any real damage. OK, so uh, we've also heard, I think, from the, the mayor of New York saying that there's no reports of any major impact. But I think what you were saying there, John, is it's quite unusual. I mean, if you're in San Francisco, you might expect to feel tremors quite regularly. But New York City, you don't expect so much. You don't, and that's why it makes the news, um, you know, uh, and it certainly is at the moment. Uh, you know, uh, local news reports, of course, uh, switching very quickly to this story, a huge amount of interest in it. It's a story uh, that New Yorkers see and feel themselves and experience themselves. Um, and because these things aren't that frequent, of course, um, it's of news interest. But at the moment, as you say, this doesn't look like uh, this is uh, in any way serious for people, for viewers who live uh, in parts of the world where these things are frequent. This uh, would hardly register as an, as an event. But, you know, uh, the eastern seaboard of the United States does have mountain ranges. Uh, these things do happen. I think, that, I, I think uh, you know, uh, looking at the historical record, uh, hundreds of recorded quakes uh, in New York uh, over the past uh, century or so. Uh, but but always very, very small and unlikely to pose anything like a, a real risk to residents here. Indeed, John Sudworth. And I remember living in Delhi and feeling uh, earthquakes on a very regular basis there too. But of course, as you say, uh, a lot of interest in this because it's happened in New York City where it's not as usual. John Sudworth, thank you very much for the moment.